Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the historic center of Krakow in southern Poland. This is Krakow, the second largest city and former capital of Poland. Now, the city was founded in the 13th century, and for the next several hundred years, it was the center of Poland's political, cultural, and economic power. Now, the World Heritage Site here is split into three parts, the Old Town, the Castle, and the Jewish Quarter. So let's go exploring. So this is the Barbican, part of the city walls that still remain here in Krakow and it's directly opposite St. Florian's Gate, which was, of course, the main gate into the city. Now, there's not much left of the city walls anymore, but they were erected in the 14th century as a crucial defense against Mongols and other invaders. So this is the main square here in Krakow, and it's the absolute heart of the old town. It's one of the largest squares in Europe, and it's about 200 metres on each side. Most of the important buildings here in town are on the square, like the Town Hall tower that you can see behind me, the Cloth Hall, and of course the Basilica. This is St Mary's Basilica, and it dominates the main square here in Krakow. It's one of the oldest and largest and most important churches in all of Poland. And what's really cool about it is that in the 13th century, a trumpeter saw an invading Mongol army coming across the plain. He sounded the alarm, blasting away on his trumpet, but in the middle of it, he was shot in the throat by a Mongol arrow. And still, to this day, every hour on the hour, a trumpeter takes up the call. And of course, he's cut off halfway through. Now this is the Cloth Hall, and it sits right in the middle of the main square. And what's fascinating about it is that it was first built in the 15th century, and it still serves much the same function today as it has done for centuries. It's still a shopping center of sorts. This is Wawel Castle, and it's the second of the three key areas in the World Heritage Site here in Krakow. Now, this was built in the 14th century by Casimir III, the greatest king of Poland, and for several hundred years, it was the residence of the Polish kings. Legend has it that the castle was built on this hill because a cave underneath it contained a fire-breathing dragon, and there is still a fire-breathing dragon here today, but it's made of bronze. So this area is known as Casimir's, or the Jewish Quarter. Now historically, this is where Krakow's Jewish population lived, and it was quite a numerous population as well. Jews were welcomed to the city when they were being kicked out of other places in Europe en masse. Now the center of Casimir's is the old synagogue, which you can see behind me, and it's one of the oldest synagogues in Europe, and the oldest synagogue in Poland. Now unfortunately, most of the Jewish population here didn't survive the 1940s and the Nazi occupation when they were moved forcibly into a ghetto on the other side of the city and then later sent to places like Auschwitz. So 
So it's been a really fascinating day here in Krakow because it's not really a city that I knew much about before I got here. So I feel like I've learned a lot, um, a lot of history, a lot of culture. It's very, very fascinating and I would highly recommend coming here. Uh, and what I also find interesting is that Krakow has been on the World Heritage List since 1978. It was one of the very first sites added the first year, which means that it's been on the World Heritage List longer than the Great Pyramids or the Taj Mahal, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the Road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.